This tutorial is going to take you through how to download and install MyOB Student Edition. First of all we need to log on to our online platform. So we'll go down and we'll load Internet Explorer or in this case Google Chrome and type in the web address online.appliededucation. Now if you've been there before you can see it's already come up in my uh, address bar there so I'll click on it and on the right here in username we'll type in our username in this case I have a user called Joe blog and I've already typed in the password obviously you'll need to use your own username and password now in this scenario um, the MyOB student edition I'm looking under the bookkeeping and accounting area and certificate for in bookkeeping if you're in a different uh, accounting course obviously just click on the course you're enrolled in now under the welcome tab we can see at the top the resources link now depending also on what version you're using if you're using Windows 8 Windows 7 you'll need to download a different version and also there's a Mac version be aware if you do download the Mac version it will uninstall your licensed version so you can only use the Mac version if you don't already have uh, MyOB installed on your Mac. So today I'm using Windows 7, so I'll click on this MyOB version 19.7. That will take me to a download link, and you can see here that it's automatically started downloading. It didn't ask me where to save it. Um, if you want to see where it's going, we can click Show in Folder. And I can see there that this file, it's 300 megabytes, is going into my student downloads file or my username downloads. In the previous um, video, I showed you how to create folders. So once this is downloaded, we'll be copying and pasting this file across. Through the magic of this video, I've now downloaded the file. And you can see that it is in our downloads folder. So what we need to do is move that file to our C drive, our Joe blog folder that we created earlier, and then we need to unzip the file. So let's right click and choose copy. Once we've done that, we'll click on C drive, and you can see in the previous chapter we created this folder called cert for Joe blog. We'll double click and I'm going to put it into the folder called Applications and Download. So I double click, right click and choose Paste. So that has pasted the, the zipped file in the applications. Now I need to unzip the file before I can install it. Now if you haven't installed WinRAR to unzip your files, you'll need to watch that video to use in, and install that program. So to unzip this file, and we have WinRAR installed, we'll right click and we'll choose Extract Files. It then gives us the path. Now notice uh, up above it's got Cert4 Joe Blog, Application and Downloads, and then here it's going to put it in a new directory called AccountWrite Plus version 19.7 EDU. Importantly, if I look under Advanced, we must make sure that it has Extract Full Paths and once we've done that we'll click OK. It'll take a few seconds to run and then you'll see a new folder created account right plus so we'll double click and here are the four files unzipped. From here we can then run setup. Now just a pointer if I go back make sure you don't double click and run setup straight from this window because it's still in this zipped folder you'll get an error message so make sure you've unzipped it double click the folder and then run setup so let's double click warns me here about setup launcher so I'll say yes and work through the installation process so it'll take a few minutes to install you get any error messages or warnings you have to watch for those um, to make sure you have the user rights here we are, now we click Next, accept the license agreement, and importantly here, we're going to do a complete install and look at the folder here, plus 19ED. Because we're using the Education Edition, 
um, you'll see it's installing it there in our C drive. You could change that path if you want to. I'll leave it as my OBS defaults. And here it's asking me whereabouts uh, in the start menu. Does it want to install Myob? And I'll let it do its own there. So I'm leaving that all as is and just basically accepting the default options. And again, we'll need to wait a few minutes for that to install. Once it is installed, you may need to reboot your computer and you should be good to go. Once the installation is completed, click Finish and it may open Internet Explorer and ask you for a MyOB serial number. No need to enter a serial number because this is the student version, so ignore that. Just close that window. You may also need to reboot your computer. Now you should see you have a MyOB icon on your screen ready to launch MyOB and open your data files. Again, it may prompt me here uh, and I say yes to allow it. Again, I've got some Zone Alarm or some other program, so I'll allow that. And here I am ready to use MyOB.